In this video, I will show you how to capture webhook response in Google Sheets automatically. So with the help of webhook URL, you can insert the data of any application in Google Sheets automatically and in real time, but that application should support webhooks. So what we will do, we will copy the webhook URL and paste it into that application. So that is why I was mentioning that your application should support webhook. Okay. And again, that application could be a payment gateway application or a form builder or an email marketing or it could be any application so whenever any event will happen in your application webhook will instantly capture the data here and now further we can send that data add that data in google sheets or in any other application as well so if you also want to connect google sheets with your favorite application with the help of webhook url then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the spreadsheet in which I'm going to add the form builder application data that is JotForm. Now why I am taking JotForm because this application actually supports webhook. Okay. And for webhooks, I will use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software. I am an existing user, so I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free time to test these kind of amazing automation now after login and reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I have directly pasted the name as capture webhook response in Google Sheets okay now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes okay so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so generally we always select the application in this trigger and the action window in which we are building an automation okay but currently according to our use case instead of selecting the application directly i will select a webhook and with the help of this webhook only i am going to connect jot form with the public connect and going to capture the form responses in public connect and will add in google sheets okay but before i connect jot form with the public connect with the help of webhook url let me tell you jotform has a direct integration with the public connect yes for connecting jotform with public connect you actually do not require any webhook url you can directly search for this application and connect it with the public connect but because this application supports webhook so that is why i am taking the example of this application so that i can show you how webhook really works okay so let me select to webhook here all right and i will show you how with the help of webhooks you can connect different applications with the pabli connect just like jot form okay so here you can notice as soon as i have selected the webhook by pabli it has provided me a webhook url which i am going to copy and then i will find a place where i can actually paste this webhook url okay so here you can notice i have created lot of form in the jot form okay so firstly i am going to edit this form this contact form because i would like to capture the details of this contact form only in my spreadsheet like the first name last name email and the phone number okay so clicking on the setting section and in the sidebar i will find an option of integration okay and here i will be searching for the webhooks directly as i have told you initially jot form supports webhooks so that is why we are taking jot form as an example okay so let me remove this existing integration all right so it has removed now i will be searching for the webhooks once again and here i will paste the same webhook url which i have received via public connect clicking on this complete integration button and this is how you will notice that the integration is ready and you have successfully created your integration basically jot form is connected with the public connect okay so here you can read the instruction that it is actually waiting for the response now it is saying that 
log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new form submission okay so i am already into the settings of contact form so how about i click on this publish button and did you find did you notice this link to share so i am going to copy this link okay and let me open the same form here and in front of you i will submit this form with some dummy details and as soon as i will submit the form you will notice that the details will be captured as a webhook response okay so let me fill this form as a first name i will write demo as a last name i am going to provide this user demo at the rate pablitudes.com is going to be the dummy email address asking for the phone number all right again i am going to add a dummy phone number only that is 9666666 okay so i have added all the dummy details clicking on the submit button and remember we have connected jot form with pabli connect with the help of webhook url so i am expecting that the form submission data will be received here and here you can notice the response is received already let me show you the details one by one so this is the webhook url which we have added this is the username of the person now let me show you this is the contact form basically the title of the form and here we have the detail of the form submission that is the same first name the last name the email and the phone number okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between jot form and pabli connect is working absolutely fine and in this way with the help of webhook url you can connect any application with the pabli connect and capture the data of that application inside the dashboard of pabli connect okay and again different application have their own way of adding the webhook url okay so you will have to find that where you will have to paste the webhook url okay so the first step of our automation is done basically the webhook responses has been captured in pabli connect and now i am going to send the same form submission data in the google sheets application okay so as i have told you initially in this trigger and the action window generally you will have to select the applications in which you are building an automation so i have selected the same in the action event i will select add a new row because firstly i am going to add a new row with automation and in that new row the data will be updated automatically okay so just like we have connected jot form and pabli connect now i am going to connect to google sheets with the pabli connect to by clicking on this sign in with google okay well let me tell you i have provided this access multiple times okay so i can also reuse those connection so that is why i am going with the existing connection clicking on save and this is how my google sheets account will be connected with the pabli connect immediately and just in case if you also want to go with the existing connection make sure that you provide the access of your sheet in the first time okay after that you can also go with the existing connection okay so here you can notice it is connected and because we are connected whatever the spreadsheets i have created inside my own account have started visible here currently i will select this specific sheet that is form submission data and let me show you form submission data okay and here i have a single sheet only that is sheet 1 so here you can notice it has got selected automatically and let me tell you a very important thing as soon as you select the spreadsheet and the sheet here whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet the same columns will start visible here as the field okay so you just need to provide the data in these fields and click on this final save and send test request button and this is how the data will be inserted automatically okay and from where i'm going to provide this data remember we have just captured the data from the jot form application as a webhook response okay and the interesting thing is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste it here basically i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so let me search for the name of the person all right i have mapped it okay and in the same way i am going to map other details also now you must be thinking what is this mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here these details 
will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay yes with every form submission data this existing data will be replaced automatically that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay and just in case if i will provide any data manually here that data will remain same and for every form submission the same data will be inserted in this specific column of your sheet okay so that is why i have mapped all the details now i am going to click on this button in front of you and if the response is received that means the data has been added automatically to sheet okay so the response is received let me show you the details and here you can notice the data has been added let me also correct the formatting of this data so that you can see the things very clearly so we have the same first name the same last name the same email address and the same phone number which we have provided at the time of form submission okay so this is how with the help of web url you can connect any application with the public connect and can send the data of that application in google sheets automatically and in real time okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own public connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box so you just need to click on this link and then sign up into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video